In this video, we will take a look at some troubleshooting steps to follow if your Trezor device is not recognized by your computer or it is not connecting. Before you enter the PIN code, you will see the message connect your Trezor and it might look like your device is not recognized. The connection will only be established after you enter the PIN code. Try using different USB cables and ports. Make sure the cable you are using transmits data. Changing the cable resolves the connectivity issues most of the time. Try to disconnect any USB hubs too as they may cause further connectivity problems. Check if the device is recognized in the device manager on your computer. If you are using Mac OS check the system report. Go to the Apple menu, click about this Mac, and then system report. Also, open your activity monitor and look if the Trezor D process is running. In Windows, use your task manager. Connect your Trezor device to another computer, preferably with a different operating system. This will determine if the issue is with your setup or if you have a faulty device. When using Windows, you can try to install the correct drivers. Please follow the instructions here. After installation, please restart your browser and computer as well. When you are using the Trezor Suite desktop app, try to reset the app in the settings. If the device still is not recognized in the desktop application, please try to uninstall the whole Trezor Suite application and see if there is still a folder called Trezor in the app data. If it is still there, please delete it and install the Trezor Suite application again. When using the web version of Trezor Suite, it is important to follow a few rules. Always use a supported web browser. These are only Chrome and Firefox. Using any other browser might cause functionality issues. The connection with the web application is established via Trezor Bridge. Make sure your Trezor Bridge is running by visiting this link. Trezor Bridge is bundled with Trezor Suite. Make sure the app is running when connecting to the web version. You can also download the standalone version here. In general, you should always keep your device updated to prevent any issues. Check the link in the description for the update manual. In case none of these tips helped, please contact our support via official channels. Hopefully, this video helped you troubleshoot your connection issues. Thanks for watching.